Hey guys, this is me, David, and welcome back to week 15 of Building Crate. Okay guys, so last week we finished that trench design. This week we're gonna continue that. Um, some of the parts of the trench came in, so I don't know if we're gonna get the whole trench done, but I'll tell you what we will do is definitely fill in that area in front of the trench. We're gonna fill that in. Um, definitely, hopefully almost all of it I expect to, but maybe not all because if we don't get the trench completely um, done, then basically uh, it, it, it'll be harder to kind of put it in later, especially with the turrets that we're gonna be doing soon. So that's something we'll have to wait and see. But uh, another thing I've been wanting to uh, kind of work on is the wall actually, the big wall behind us. I've been wanting to work on that for a while now. Um, so this segment, we're gonna actually do that. Um, we're actually gonna, I'm gonna really try to get it to its top height and we'll have to see whether we do it or not. But I think, I think it'll, I think we can do it in this segment. So I'm pretty excited. And then the last thing I kinda wanna cover with you guys in this segment is um, building more of the rock wall. Because remember last week I showed you I bought a bunch of those one by one bricks, which are so, can't, I can't say it enough, but one by one bricks are so essential when you're building rock work. They're just so useful. Can't say that enough. All right, well, I'm not gonna talk too much longer, guys. This is gonna be an exciting segment. Um, we're gonna get a lot of uh, different things uh, put together and pushed forward. Um, and then maybe towards the end, we can see the salt pieces, like a lot of salt pieces laid out on it. That would be kind of cool. You'll have to wait and see. So without ado, let's head in the segment right now, guys. Okay, guys, so starting this week off, I feel like this is kind of a reoccurring thing, but uh, we're gonna do another <laughs> brick link order with how we're gonna start the video off. Uh, a couple brick link orders, actually. So one of the big brick link orders that came in this week was a bunch of these plates. Again, that's what I used for covering all of the white of course underneath all this got a whole bunch of these to add to my collection over here so that's awesome um, then I also got a bunch more of these two by two by three bricks I ordered just as, pretty much as many as I could get because they have been so useful um, in making the mock so I went ahead this is a break link order I think that's all one order I think that's part of that order um, but yeah so I got that and then one more order came in as well, which is a whole bunch more of the plates, same type over here. And all of these plates, uh, these ones and these ones, will be used to cover the remaining part of, uh, of uh, I was going to say Scarif, but uh, no, Crate. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, what did not come is my order for more of these uh these plates so what we can't really do is uh, continue the trench of course you know we decided last week that this is the final version of what the trench will look like right here therefore you know we didn't we can start making all of this but in the meantime um, I think filling in this area right here with uh, more white tiles and uh, I might I might I had do I might have enough of the these uh, plates right here to finish off right here because it's kind of tricky because you have the trench right and it's coming at an angle so it might be a little bit of a challenge trying to get this um, correct right here so maybe I'll try to do that um, but then we're also I'm hoping we'll get to it in the video but I really want to work on the wall again we haven't really done much with it in uh, I think about a month now so I'm trying to get at least uh, a couple layers up but uh, like up and above. Not sure if we'll finish it this segment, but I certainly want to at least work on it a little bit more. Um, so l we'll try to get that done. But first things first, let's tile up all of these plates right here and here. Let's get them laid down. Um, I hope this is my remaining amount of two by two plates. I really, really hope that this is enough to finish this area. Um, I'd be very sad if this is not enough. Um, it should be, I think, so we'll see. Um, but the reason why I wanna get this area filled in is because we're gonna be working, now that the trench design is done, and the trenches themselves will probably be done in the next like, week or two, um, we're gonna start working on those turrets, and I need both sides of the trench uh, to be completed in, uh, in order to work on the turrets to get the overall feel and look of them just right. 
Another thing I'm gonna be doing soon, if not in this video, is making more salt pieces. Um, and actually, what do they call them? I saw there was a behind the scenes video. Unfortunately, I haven't purchased uh, Star Wars The Last Shit on digital. I'm waiting for the 4K Blu-ray to come out. I think it's two weeks after um, when the digital comes out, you know, cause you know, they wanna sell more digital copies, which doesn't even make sense because you get a digital copy with the 4K Blu-ray, but whatever. Anyhow, um, there was a, there's something they posted online and it was about Crate on the Star Wars YouTube channel and they had pointed out what they call, they don't call it like uh, salt, you know, what I've been calling it, which is like salt plates or whatever. Um, they call them, what was the name? Uh, they had a specific name for it, but I, you know, I'll look it up and <laughs> later in the video I'll name it off, but they had a specific name for what they call these. Um, it, it, was, it was, and that's what I should be calling them actually, not salt plates or whatever I, I have been calling them. Um, so that's just a little correction that I need to do. <laughs> um, another thing is when we're working on the tiles over here, we definitely have to uh, not forget that the, uh, Technic parts have to be here because remember all of these sections split up so that's important That's another aspect with the trenches is that it's kind of one continuous thing I think that's all right as long as the sections split up this trench itself is pretty easy to take in and out So even if it's all one giant thing and even though it's overlapping other sections, I don't think it's the end of the world um, Because this particular section ends right here so getting the trench out and you know, if need be to move crate, I don't think it'll be that hard. So I'm not too worried about that. But yeah. All right. So uh, I think we'll do a time lapse. Maybe, maybe not. I'm thinking, should I do a time lapse? I wish I had live comments right now. Unfortunately, the video is, you know, set as it is. But um, yeah, why not? Let's do a time lapse, guys. So without do, let's head into the time lapse right now. Okay guys, so unfortunately, as you could tell quickly at the air, uh, there at the end of the time lapse, um, yeah, the, the, uh, the camera decided to just drop on my uh, tripod up here, uh, the Casey Neistat tripod as I call it, um, but yeah, it dropped unfortunately. But it did get most of the things that I worked on. Really it was, uh, but what you didn't see in the time lapse was kind of the end uh of me kind of working on this so this is what i've kind of came up with as you can see i extended the trench a little bit more so again it's longer by the way these things right here all of these things are just support brackets at the moment they're obviously will be removed once i'm all done here with the trench but they're just support brackets at the moment anyhow so the way i kind of blended in was this basically so it's just a lot of experimenting and a lot of just you know trickery with how to figure out how to make this blend as, as, as seamless as possible. This, by the way, this bottom part here will not be here in the final uh, version. It's just temporary. So pretend that's not there. So that's what it'll kind of look like right about there. Yeah. So this area, I really couldn't do that much. Um, I, I, I might raise this up so that it's the same height as this, but then it looks kind of weird because this isn't. I might uh, put some plates or something here to extend it out a little bit, but there's not much I can do with this angle because it, it's kind of coming over as you can see here. So this is kind of tricky. This, however, I was able to solve pretty easily and it, it looks like it's kind of continuing for the most part. There is a gap, of course, right here. There's not much I could do about it, but it's a small gap. It isn't too noticeable in the vast uh, of things. It isn't that bad. Um, but if I move the salt things, you can kind of see what I did here. Um, it's pretty simple but it gets the job done. It looks like it kind of continues the trench downwards, which is kind of the goal of what this is needing to do. Um, another tricky thing is, of course, you know, we'll have the uh, these tiles uh, within here. And as you can see, I'm gonna somehow need to do that here, but haven't got to that yet. So I'm not thinking about it just yet, but that is a problem that will be have to be addressed later on. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good way of solving how this trench kind of 
uh, kind of comes in with uh, with the longer, you know, big uh, things that we've been building over here. So, yeah, I think I think it looks good. Um, I wish I could do a little bit more here. That is, this is fine. I really like this area, but I wish I could do a little bit more with this. Um, I might experiment a little bit later on, but right now I'm just gonna kind of leave it. It doesn't look bad at all, honestly. It just looks like it kind of stops, especially in like the grand scheme of things over here. But um, I do wish I could do a little bit more, but it isn't that bad. I, I really don't think it's that bad. All right, so now we're gonna fill in all of this area with uh, plates. And hopefully, I get, like I said earlier in the video, I hope we have enough tiles to do that. So I'm gonna set this tripod up a different way so it doesn't fall down and we'll take a look at that so without do let's go ahead and get all this covered right now guys all of the plates are down and then as you can see during the time lapse I had to kind of fill it in right here and I also had to fill it on this side so there's actually uh, what it should be what all of crate should be is have red plates under it fortunately it's not the case but at least these sections actually has red underneath the tiles which of course makes sense but um, so later on when we're uh, you know doing battlescapes uh you know putting all the figures on the really fun stuff that everybody loves to see and enjoys um then right here particularly we can have some red kind of coming out of the ground and stuff I, i'm definitely going to do that in other areas more on this final section that is not existent right here at the moment but that will have a lot of more you know red involved uh, in terms of underneath these plates um so yeah um, now, in terms of like how all of this was done, again, pretty much exactly how I did last time. So as you can see, just a whole bunch of poles underneath here, and you can kind of just see how it is, how it was kind of done as I kind of go along. And then, of course, you can see I have the Technic pieces here. This is for connecting the next section, so that's why it's empty. Of course, on the final section that would be here, the, the all of this right here would be red. Um, and uh, you wouldn't even actually see this part here either But yeah, it looks great guys. It's making crate look even bigger now So let me just kind of scale it back and yeah, so it continues to get bigger now You can definitely see how the trench is gonna look Especially over in here because of course this is the final trench. These are just you know prototypes These are just here just to act as okay. This is where the plates should not and shouldn't go. I actually um, Made a bit too many of them. So these will be Whoa, we're good. We're good <laughs> This uh, Yeah, I accidentally knocked that over. Hopefully I didn't just scare anybody, but uh, <laughs> anyhow um as I was saying, um, yeah, uh, so when we get to the next section, threw me off a little bit there, guys, but uh, yeah, so when we get to the next section, I'll have those plates kind of ready to go. All right, so I'm, I'm debating. I think we might actually wait on the wine in the beginning of this uh, video. I said I wanted to work more on it, but it's either I work on the wall or kind of finish up this area by filling in these gaps right here, which I really kind of want to do now rather than later. And I think you guys might want to see that too, because that way it really fills it in, fills in this area. And it, again, it makes crate look bigger. I'd rather do that than put like another layer on the wall. I think we can wait till next week on that. Um, because, 
Well, first off, the reason why I wanted to get this done is I needed the area right here in order to take that wall off and actually continue to build it. So now I have a nice flat, perfectly flat surface right here that I can work on with the wall. Um, before that, it wasn't the case, but yeah, so that's a, that's kind of part of the reason why I did this, not gonna lie, but uh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's what we're gonna do actually. I'm gonna fill in this area, all these, you know, these areas right here, just as I did here and here, and of course over here. And I think we'll end it out after that, uh, so we won't get to the wall as much as I wanted to, sadly enough. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see what that looks like, guys, so let's go. So guys, even though we aren't gonna work on the wall, I wanted to do something special for this segment, so. I went ahead and put a bunch of the salt pieces down and that's what it looks like. Look at how awesome this looks guys. Like seriously, I am just blown away. I was, uh, like right there, okay, boom. That is final what you're seeing right now. Like the trench, the salt pieces, everything right here in the screen, in the picture of the screen, of course when we come out here, it's not final, but right here, is final that is like the finished part of the mock yes um it looks so good I, I i what i love so much and like right here like i don't know if you can kind of see it but i don't know if my focus will get it but their eye line the minifigure eye line is literally right where it should be right on the uh it won't focus for some reason but i'm sorry but the minifigure eye line is exactly on the the uh, the salt pieces and that that couldn't be more perfect honestly yeah but uh, it, it just looks so good I love this and the way that the what we've done with the trenches and how it blends in with the salt pieces just looks so good I absolutely love this and the gap right here you don't even notice it, it just looks like it falls off exactly what I want it to do like look at that that just looks awesome now, I know a lot of you will be like, oh my god, there's gaps everywhere, David. Well, first off, I kind of just threw these down really quickly. If I took my time and carefully placed everything, there wouldn't be as many gaps as what you're seeing, so don't worry about that. But uh, this is a pretty good rough idea in terms of the battlefield of what it will look like in the final version is this. Like, look at, ah, I love this so much. Let's just make a billion saw pieces. Let's finish the trenches and just, just get it all looking like this because this just looks fantastic. I love it. I hope you guys love it. I think this is a great way to end off the segment with this basically what it will be the final look of a uh, crate. And I also kind of like when you come up here, again, I know there's quite a bit of spaces between the pieces here. Don't worry about that. It's not going to be uh, final like that. But... Just the whole salt pieces, like it has a very interesting look to it. Very, very interesting look. But yeah, guys, this this is just so good. I love this so much and how it's looking. Like, look at that right there. That is just boom. That is just like beautiful. That should go on Instagram. <laughs> I love it so much. You have the detail of the, you know, the red rock and you have the uh, salt coming over. Just wow. I love this so much right here. That is just mm, gorgeous. All right, I think I'm, think I'm going a little too far with <laughs> how much I love how this is turning out. But you know, we've this is week 15 now. So seeing something like this, something that's actually closer to being final, you know, this is what it will look like at the end is is nice to see because you know, I've been working on this mock for close to four to five months now so uh you know seeing something that's finalized is great it, it's it's kind of a it's like a achievement feeling uh almost a victory in a weird way but yeah no this just looks so good i absolutely love the look of this guys i hope you do too please let me know down in the comments your thoughts i think this looks great just imagine all of these uh salt pieces all the way back to that rock wall, all the way up here, all the way over here. Oh my God, yeah, just, mm. Yes, I am so excited for what's to come with Crate, guys. I hope this is a, uh, I hope you enjoyed this segment. I know we didn't get to the wall. I know we didn't get to the wall, but I think this is really awesome. This is a big achievement. We got this whole area covered, so I feel like this segment really did cover quite a bit. <laughs> Literally get it covered, oh my God. Anyhow, um, yeah, so, I think we did enough, I feel like. 
But next week, we'll definitely work on the wall, we'll work on the mountain, um, hopefully the trenches, if those parts will come in time. If not, we will definitely be working back there, start building that up as well as that. Um, and we really definitely need to make more salt pieces. Uh, and I know at the beginning of the video, again, there's another name and I still haven't found out the name. I've been working so long, it's been like six, eight hours of just straight up working on this. Fun story, by the way, I just wanted to leave off on this. Um, when I was working on the time lapse, when I was working on, you know, putting all these tiles on the plates, you notice that kind of disappeared in the time lapse just for a little bit, just for like a couple seconds. The reason why I disappeared and I, I had to, I had to go is the way I put the tiles on these these plates right here, these things, these particular, you know, plates or whatever, these giant bricks, is I actually just really quickly put them on and then I take a rubber hammer. This is the same rubber hammer I used with Kashyyyk because I, uh, if anybody's followed me the from Kashyyyk, you'll remember this rubber hammer because I used to use it with rock work because it was essential that I compact whatever uh, you know building I was doing in order to make sure there was no like air gaps and stuff like that. But anyhow, I used that rubber hammer and then I just kind of basically pat down all the tiles really quickly so that way I don't have to individually per like kill my thumb putting all these tiles down so using putting them on like just barely any uh, clutch power just putting them on really quickly and then using the hammer to kind of finish it is kind of the easiest way to put on a bunch of tiles like this but anyhow while I was doing that uh, <laughs> my neighbor kind of complained because I live in an apartment complex um, got a got a complaint from my neighbor so I had to like kind of figure out how to do it being saw so I had to go in the corner of a different room and just like tap 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 and I think they got mad from that too but yeah I mean it's I'm willing to uh, upset my own neighbors guys just to get crate done I thought that was a little funny um but yeah we'll leave it off on that I think that was uh I think that, that was pretty funny in my my opinion but uh, I mean I was only I was only like using that hammer for maybe maybe 10 15 minutes so I don't think it really annoyed them that much but that'll be it guys thank you thank you guys so much for watching we'll go ahead and head, to, head out to the end of the video it's late please excuse my grammar let's go guys all right guys so that was the segment um so you know as you guys can see we did a couple different things and i'm i'm pretty happy with what we were able to do in this segment but next week uh, i really hope to finish like the trenches completely um and and Actually, it's not even that. I just really want to get working on those turrets because I feel like that's going to take a lot of time because there's, they seem simple, but I really feel like they're not going to be, um, at least the way I want to do it. I want it to be pretty detailed and gritty looking. That's what I'm going to aim for with the, uh, the turrets because um, they're such a standout because, you know, you have this huge white plane that is the crate battlefield, you know, with the salt pieces and all that. And then you have the trenches, of course, and you know maybe some of uh, the red dust and debris. But the thing I think, think that really stands out is you know those turrets. They're very like noticeable. I mean, of course, the ATM six and the wall and all that stands out. But I feel like those turrets are like very important things on the battlefield, and so I want to get those right and as perfect as possible. So I hope next week we'll start working on that. That's kind of the goal, but we will see. Um, but yeah, crates going well, guys. I'm, I'm happy with how the progress has come. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, this has been, uh, I'm cutting these, uh, uh, my ex explanation parts, I guess you could call them. I'm going to cut it short with this segment guys. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.